Good evening, dear learners. I'm Dr. Satish Vishwambal Lakde, and I'm working as an assistant professor of communication skills in the Department of Humanities and Sciences, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. And I welcome you all for this session on pronouns. For convenience sake, I have divided the topic on pronouns into three parts. That is pronouns part one, pronouns part two, and pronouns part three. Today we'll be dealing with pronouns part one. And in part one, we will be discussing about personal pronouns. So we move to the next slide. Now here is the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to use appropriate personal pronouns in their communication. Now, if you can remember or recall, in the previous session, we have discussed about nouns. And today, we are going to deal with pronouns. So, these two concepts, nouns and pronouns, are very much interconnected. And that is the reason why today, we'll be dealing with pronouns after discussing nouns in the previous session. So now, here is a question for you to think over. And the question is, what is a pronoun? A very simple question. You all have learnt the concept of pronoun in your school days. And so I would request you to pause this video for some time and try and answer this particular question in your course journal. I would also request you to write a couple of sentences using various personal pronouns. So you can answer this question by pausing the video. Welcome back. So here's the answer. So this is the definition for pronoun. So a pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Very simple. I repeat, a pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. So the following examples will illustrate this particular definition. So the first sentence, I'm young. So here, I is used as a personal pronoun and it is used in place of a noun which might be the name of a person. So I is a pronoun used in place of a noun. So second sentence, he, she, it is young. So he is young, she is young or it is young. So in this sentence, he, she and it are again used as a personal pronouns. So they are used in place of a noun, which might be the name of a person, a man or a woman. Sentence number three, we are old. Here, we again is a personal pronoun is used for a plural noun. Sentence number four, you are old. Sentence number five, they are old. So it's very clear and very simple to understand. So all these highlighted words are working as pronouns and they are used in place of various nouns and hence they are called as pronouns because a pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun. So now we'll discuss the types of pronouns. First, personal pronouns. Then second, reflexive and emphatic pronouns. Third, demonstrative, indefinite and distributive pronouns. Fourth, relative pronouns. Fifth, interrogative pronouns. So these are the five different types of pronouns which we'll be discussing in these three sessions, that is pronouns part one, pronouns part two, and pronouns part three. So as I said, today we would be discussing about the first category that is personal pronouns. So personal pronouns. Now when it comes to personal pronouns, we have three different forms of personal pronouns and they are first person pronouns, second person pronouns and third person pronouns. Now in this particular slide, we'll be discussing about first person 
masculine and feminine pronouns. So now look at the table. So let us first take the first category that is nominative. So I is a singular first person nominative pronoun. Whereas we is a plural first person pronoun. We move to the next category that is possessive pronouns. My and mine are singular first person possessive pronouns. Whereas our and ours are plural first person possessive pronouns. Then the next category that is accusative. So in this category, me is singular first person pronoun, whereas us is plural first person pronoun. So this was about first person masculine and feminine pronouns. Now let us move to the next category. So the second category is uh, second person pronouns. Now look at the following table. So we'll take the first category that is nominative. So you is a singular second person pronoun. And again, you is also working as plural second person nominative pronoun. So we'll understand that you is used as singular as well as plural second person pronoun. Now let us take the next category that is possessive pronouns. Your and yours are singular second person possessive pronouns. So again same that is uh, your and yours they are used as a plural second person possessive pronouns. So you'll understand that your and yours they work as singular as well as plural second person pronouns. Then the next category that is uh, accusative pronouns. So you is a singular second person accusative pronoun and uh, you again works as a plural second person accusative pronoun. So you'll understand that here you works as a singular as well as plural second person pronoun. So with this, we now move to the third category that is uh, third person pronouns. Now look at this particular table. This table shows the third person pronouns. So now we move to the first category that is nominative. Here he is a singular masculine third person pronoun and she is a singular feminine third person nominative pronoun. Whereas it is a singular neuter gender third person pronoun. And they is a plural third person pronoun and is used for all genders. Now the next category is possessive. Here his is a singular third person masculine pronoun and her and hers are singular third person feminine pronouns whereas its is a singular third person possessive pronoun and it belongs to neuter gender whereas their and theirs they are plural third person possessive pronouns and are used for all genders. Now let us move to the next category that is the accusative. Now here him is a singular masculine third person accusative pronoun whereas her is a singular third person feminine accusative pronoun. Whereas it is a singular neuter gender third person pronoun and them is a plural third person accusative pronoun and is used for all genders. This was about third person pronouns. In this session on personal pronouns, we have dealt with uh, three types of personal pronouns. That is the first person pronouns, 
then the second person pronouns and the third person pronouns. So this was all about part one, personal pronouns. And in the next session, we'll be dealing with the other types of pronouns. So this is a reference for this particular work. Thank you once again. And I wish you a very happy learning.